The Soft Machine, the first book in William S. Burroughs' Nova Trilogy, is an avant-garde narrative that defies traditional storytelling through its use of the cut-up technique. This method, which Burroughs developed with the artist Brian Geisen, involves taking a text, cutting it into pieces, and rearranging the fragments to create new sentences and meanings. As a result, the novel's structure is fragmented and non-linear, reflecting both the chaotic world it depicts and the disjointed consciousness of its protagonist. The novel's form becomes part of its thematic exploration, merging content and structure in a way that challenges readers' expectations of narrative coherence. At its core, the soft machine delves into themes of control, addiction, and liberation. The protagonist is an unnamed agent who travels through different times, bodies, and consciousnesses in a bid to overthrow the forces of control that dominate society. These forces are represented by various entities, such as the Nova Mob, a group of intergalactic criminals who manipulate reality to maintain their power. The Nova Mob embodies Burroughs' critique of societal systems of control, including political, economic, and psychological structures that subjugate individuals. By framing these forces as extraterrestrial and malevolent, Burroughs makes a dystopian commentary on modern civilization. Addiction, both literal and metaphorical, is another central theme of the novel. Burroughs, who struggled with heroin addiction, uses the concept of addiction as a broader metaphor for control. The characters in the novel are often depicted as being enslaved by their desires, whether for drugs, power, or sexual gratification. The protagonist's mission to free himself and others from these addictions becomes a metaphor for the struggle to escape the psychological and social forces that limit human freedom. Addiction, in Burroughs' universe, is not just about substances, it is about the pervasive systems that trap individuals in repetitive cycles of behavior. The novel's disjointed narrative reflects the fractured inner world of its characters, who are constantly shifting identities and bodies. This fluidity of identity is another key theme, as characters are often reduced to mere vessels for the expression of various impulses. The protagonist, in particular, can inhabit different bodies and times, suggesting that identity is not fixed but malleable and subject to external forces. This concept aligns with Burroughs' view of the self as something that can be manipulated and controlled, much like language. The cut-up technique itself reflects this notion, as language, the tool through which we construct our identities, is shown to be unstable and subject to arbitrary rearrangement. Sexuality in the soft machine is presented in an ambiguous and often disturbing way. Burroughs frequently blurs the lines between violence and desire, depicting sexual acts as both liberating and destructive. The novel is filled with graphic and surreal depictions of sexuality that challenge conventional notions of intimacy and pleasure. These scenes are often tied to the theme of control, as sex becomes another arena in which power dynamics play out. Burroughs' treatment of sexuality, like his treatment of identity, reflects a world in which the boundaries between the self and others, between desire and domination, are constantly shifting. The novel's title, The Soft Machine, refers to the human body, which Burroughs views as a soft, malleable entity subject to external manipulation. The body, like the mind, can be controlled and reprogrammed, and much of the novel's narrative revolves around the protagonist's attempts to resist this control. The human body becomes a battleground in the struggle between individual freedom and external forces of domination. This theme resonates with Burroughs' broader critique of modern society, where individuals are increasingly subject to systems of surveillance, regulation, and control. Ultimately, the soft machine is a challenging and often bewildering text, but it is also a profound exploration of the nature of control, identity, and freedom. Through its experimental form and disturbing content, Burroughs forces readers to confront the ways in which language, desire, and power shape our understanding of ourselves and the world around us. The novel is a radical rejection of traditional narrative structures and an incisive critique of modernity, one that continues to resonate in its exploration of the darker aspects of human existence.